All right, welcome anatomy students. This is our video for dissection number five of the abdominal muscles. Okay, um, first thing we're going to start with on this dissection, as you notice, is we need to locate the ribs. We're going to use our scissors and we're going to start our first incision on the external obliques over the ribs. That is super important that we all start in the same place. I want to make sure everybody sees this. That's really important. You have to find the ribs of your cat. Find the ribs. Oh, that's a really bad highlight of the ribs. Find the ribs. You can see them right here. And we're going to make sure we start our incision. And we're going to make a kind of a, from this way, it kind of looks like a frowny face or maybe a rainbow cut, I guess. And we're going to cut down to the groin. Very important that we start over the ribs. If you start down here, I can pretty much guarantee you that you're going to cut too deep and you will see intestines. That's a great way to tell if you messed up on this dissection. If you ever see intestines, you went too far. Good news is that you have two sides of this cat, so if you mess up on one, you can always try again on the other side. All right, so I'm using my probe and the scissors, and I'm lifting up the external oblique. Again, notice I started over the ribs. I'm getting to the end of the ribs, and I'm going to now keep this thing moving, using my fingers, lifting it up. And you're going to see this nice kind of frown shape cut that we're going to go, or a rainbow, I guess you could call it. So I'm going to go all the way to the groin. Careful, careful, kind of like what we did when we were pulling the skin off. Make sure that it's completely freed up from the underlying internal oblique before you put your scissors to it. So external oblique is being cut away, and we're cutting down towards the internal oblique. So now you're actually starting to see the internal oblique underneath. Again, so long as you started over the ribs, you should have no problem. You should not be uh, surprised with any um, intestines peeking up at you here, okay? All right. So let's now take a look at some other muscles that we're going to be finding here. All right, so again, this muscle is the external oblique. The internal oblique is what you're going to see underneath where my hand is. And now we're going to be seeing this muscle that is running right here along the abs, or what we call the rectus abdominis, which is why it's called your abs. So you're going to see how I peel the rectus abdominis off of the external oblique. It's actually going to be kind of connected to it. Use your fingers, use your probe. And you're going to see the rectus abdominis and how it's kind of set up here. I'm using my probe, freeing up all of the connective tissue that's in between the external and internal oblique. I might need to connect this and make one more quick incision here to fully free up the uh, inside. Yeah, there I go. Last little cut right there with the scissors. All right, very good. So I have this nice pocket. Got a great view of the internal obliques. And now I'm going to start working on the rectus abdominis. Okay, I'll make this point here. It is kind of like a little ribbon that in this portion, it's actually going to be glued to the um, external oblique. Down here in this portion, it makes a flip and is now attached to the internal oblique. So you got to be kind of careful when you peel this thing off. Try to do so without shredding it. It should be one solid ribbon that goes all the way down. And you'll see at the end of this dissection, how it should look when we're all done here. So I'm going to carefully peel the rectus abdominis off. Okay, it's just going to be kind of flapping on but down here. So I'm now pulling it off of the external oblique. Kind of get my probe underneath. I'm going to free it from the external oblique. Again, that little muscle that I'm pinching there is called the rectus abdominis. It's what we call your six pack when people have a six pack. Okay. Bring it up. You can actually faintly see now, notice on this side down here by the navel or the belly button, the rectus abdominis is most likely attached um, to the internal oblique or on the uh, body side of the cat. It won't lift up with the external oblique as you lift it up. So we'll get under the rectus abdominis, keep freeing them up. When you're all done, you should have a nice um, little ribbon kind of set up there. Free them all up. And that's pretty much it. All right, the next part of our dissection here is going to be exposing the uh, transversus abdominis. This is an extremely, extremely delicate operation that we need to do here. So let's just kind of highlight what the plan is. You see I have my scalpel out. Now this is an extremely sharp scalpel. We might have to share some scalpels in class, uh, get like a razor scalpel. We're going to make a, a little window kind of like this, a little window. Then we're going to lift up the internal oblique. 
I really want you to focus on the direction the fascicles are going. The fascicles are all looking kind of like this. Okay, you're going to cut through, lift up the internal oblique, peel it up. So let me see if I can animate how this would look. You're going to make a cut, and you're then going to lift. Well, that looks pretty bad. And you're going to see a different muscle underneath the internal oblique. So let's see how this works. Be super careful when we make this incision. It literally is like cutting through a single layer of paper without cutting the paper below. You'll know you went too deep if you see intestines. Oh, apparently I drew my, uh, my portal the wrong direction. It's actually, we're gonna pull it down in this video. You can pull it any direction you'd like. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use the edge of my scalpel. I suggest using maybe a more blunt scalpel for this part, but I'm now gonna just kind of lift up the top layer and peel it down. My hand, unfortunately, is gonna block this extremely well, so we won't be able to see it as well. So I'm just kind of probing and lifting and pinching. You might want to use your tweezers for this. And I'm hoping to see another layer of muscle underneath. And I know it's another layer because the fascicles are going a different direction. This muscle underneath is called the transversus abdominis. Okay, we're cutting through the internal oblique to see the transversus abdominis. Okay, I got myself a nice little window. I'm just now going to keep lifting on this corner. Speed this process up so you get the kind of idea here. Super delicate work here. Very, very, very delicate. You're literally lifting up a thin, thin sheet of muscle. When it's all done, you should have two layers. Freeing them all up. All right, there we go. So let's label all the muscles so we see what we're looking at. On the outside here, we have the external oblique. Here we have the internal oblique. Lining this little ribbon here is the rectus abdominis. And then inside my little window, I have the transversus abdominis. All right, that pretty much sums up this dissection. Uh, it, it doesn't take too much time. It's just you gotta be very careful right there making that window. All right, so good luck, and we'll see how you guys do in class.